This video is sponsored by Brilliant. You guys, this looks like a fun one. It says calculate the area of the square. We're given a 30, 60, 90 triangle with a hypotenuse of length 13 centimeters. And there's a square inscribed in the triangle. No other information is provided. So that means there can only be one square inscribed like this. If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. All the sides of the square are equal to each other. We'll call them X. And let's look at the notes for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Every 30, 60, 90 triangle has this property. If you take the shorter leg and multiply it by square root of three, you'll get the length of the longer leg. And it works backwards as well. If you have the longer leg and you divide by square root of three, you'll have the shorter leg. So if the longer leg is X, the shorter leg would be X divided by square root of three. And let's look at these two versions of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We can align them like this. And now they match exactly what we have in our given figure. So let's place them on top of our original figure. And now we can use these side lengths. This base is equal to 13, but it's also equal to X over root three plus X plus root three X. So now let's solve for X. And this is gonna take a little bit of algebra. I don't like working with fractions, so let's get rid of this denominator. We can multiply both sides of the equation by square root of three. The square root of three is gonna to distribute to all three of these. So for the first one, we get root three X over root three and the root threes will cancel each other out. And then for the next one, we'll have root three times X. And then for the third term, root three times root three is equal to three, and that'll be multiplied by X. X plus three X is four X, and we can bring down the root three X. Both these terms have a common factor of X, so let's factor it out. X times what gives us four X, well that's four. And then we're gonna to add to that X times what gives us root three X, well that's root three. And then to get the X by itself, we can divide both sides by four plus rad three. These cancel each other out, so X is all that remains. And on the right-hand side, we have all this stuff. And now we've solved for the exact value of X. But next, we should rationalize the denominator. We're gonna to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, which would be four minus root three. On top, 13 root three times four is 52 root three. And then we're gonna subtract 13 times root three times root three, which is 13 root nine. And on bottom, four times four is 16. Root three times four is positive four root three. 4 times negative root 3 is negative 4 root 3, and root 3 times negative root 3 is negative root 9. For our numerator, square root of 9 is equal to 3, and 13 times 3 is equal to 39. And on bottom, this positive 4 root 3 and negative 4 root 3 will cancel each other out. Square root of 9 is equal to 3, and 16 minus 3 is equal to 13. So this can be split up into two separate fractions. 52 root 3 divided by 13 is 4 root 3, and then we're going to subtract 39 divided by 13, which is 3. And now we have a nice, clean, exact value for x, 4 radical 3 minus 3. And that is approximately equal to 3.93. And now to find the area of this purple square, it's going to be x squared. That means 4 radical 3 minus 3 squared. Or in other words, 4 radical 3 minus 3 times 4 radical 3 minus 3. And then we can multiply that out. 4 times 4 is equal to 16, and radical 3 times radical 3 is equal to 3. And then negative 3 times 4 rad 3 is equal to negative 12 rad 3. And same thing, 4 rad 3 times negative 3 is also negative 12 rad 3. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9. 16 times 3 is equal to 48, and if we add 9, that's 57. And negative 12 root 3 minus 12 root 3 is negative 24 root 3. This is the exact value of x squared, and that's approximately 15.43. And now we have the area of our square. Let's give it a label of centimeter squared and put a box around it. I get asked all the time how I know how to solve these types of problems, and really, it just takes a lot of practice. And I think Brilliant is a great place to start. They have interactive lessons that require your attention to go each step. It's a lot more fun than just watching a video. In this video, we use a lot of algebra to find the area. So if you wanted more algebra practice, they have these algebra puzzles, and you could really visit any of these courses. I haven't seen them all, but all of them I've looked at have been pretty cool. And the best part about it is how interactive the lessons are. It's way more fulfilling than just watching a video. In fact, the whole interactive experience kind of reminds me of social media, except I have more fun with this, and I'm actually learning something. The course I'm currently going through is Beautiful Geometry. I've only gone through about one-tenth of it so far, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually getting ideas for future videos. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash andymath, or visit the link in the description. You also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.